I'm Tim Trotter, and today I'm going to show you how you can take a USB drive and a CD and make a virtual CD on this USB drive. Now, why would you want to do that? There's a couple of reasons. One is if you have drivers or software on this CD, and maybe the CD is a little long on the tooth and kicked around by your kids or something like that, and you want to make a good copy onto your USB drive. Another reason is if you're an independent software developer and you want a way to get your software out there a little easier or if you want to pass it around to friends, USB. Let's find out how to make that. Go ahead and plug in your USB drive. Let's see it appear here. And uh, the CD we're using today is just a simple uh, CD with driver software for a camera, in this case a Canon. Now, to make a virtual disk image to that USB drive, you need to go up here to your top menu bar on Go, then down to Utilities, and once you're in Utilities, go ahead and find Disk Utility, Now, what you want to find is your super drive here, and below that, your Canon CD. Go ahead and select that. And on these three top bars here, you're going to want to go to Restore. Now, it should already have the source as the Canon, and that's correct. Now, you need a destination. Go ahead and drag your blank USB up to here. See the little plus sign there? Go ahead and release. And once it's in there, everything looks all kosher, go ahead and hit Restore. And you're going to want to click Erase. Punch in your password for your computer, if you've got one. And you'll see it running down here. We went ahead and skipped to the end of this video here since that took about a couple minutes there. Once you've done that, it should appear on your desktop. And as you see here, you've got the original CD. And now your USB is the same thing as your CD. Go ahead and click the CD. There you are. And your virtual CD, which is now on your USB. And it's the same thing. And there you have it. That's how to make a virtual CD with a USB. So there you go. A really simple way that you can use the built-in tools within your Mac to make a virtual CD. I hope that helps you out. And thanks for watching.